Now, here's a key detail. I highly recommend that you view all of the video clips for this film in order. Really, please. I've explained these ideas to many people over the years. I've observed how people react to and absorb this information. In my opinion, one trick to making physics a lot easier is to envision it being kind of like a maze, like a labyrinth. Just like it is important to travel through a maze in a specific order, there is importance to learning these ideas in a specific order. For example, in my opinion, every physicist must understand time before they go on to develop more complex theories that involve the concept of time. And which physics theories don't involve time? I'm going to take a minute and explain an analogy. It is very useful for us here. It is the physics as a maze or a labyrinth analogy. This is an example of a maze. When you walk through a maze, you go in one door and come out the other. Some mazes have only one entrance and one exit. Sometimes mazes can have many doors. The goal with a maze is to travel through the maze. This is an example of a labyrinth. A labyrinth is a type of maze where the goal is to get to the center. The corridors could be straight or curved. A labyrinth does not need to be circular. On the outside edge, a labyrinth might have multiple doors. Inside, the labyrinth might have local areas that seem important or are more important than others. However, the labyrinth has only one real center. If physics is a labyrinth, then the center of the labyrinth is where you will find the grand unification equation. Physics is kind of like a maze and it is also kind of like a labyrinth. Keep in mind, some parts of the physics maze are easy. Some parts of the maze are difficult. In general, the size of the physics maze is huge. The physics maze has many regions. For example, thermodynamics is a region of the maze. Mechanics is a region. Electromagnetics is a region. When you study physics, typically each chapter of a physics book represents one of the regions of the physics maze. Sometimes a region of physics was originally figured out by one famous physicist or a group of physicists. When this happens, the region is sometimes named after the physicist. Over here, this is what the atomic physicists discovered. Isaac Newton discovered this area. Now we've entered Albert Einstein's area. You get the idea. The physics maze has many doors, it has many corridors, it has many dead ends. In some cases, it could take you years to find your way down just one corridor. Let me be absolutely clear on this point. Nobody has ever completely made it through the entire physics maze. Nobody understands every part of the physics maze. In physics, there are many experts. Most physics experts know just their specific region of the maze. After all, overall, there's just too much for one person to know. Therefore, most physicists specialize. Not me, I did not specialize. The best way to describe me is I'm more like your physics tour guide. When describing physics, personally, I prefer the labyrinth analogy over the maze analogy. When you think of physics, mazes being like a labyrinth, then most of the interesting physics, the most important physics, in essence, the best stuff is located at the center of the labyrinth. For example, if you could find your way to the center, then that, then that is where you would find the equation that unifies physics. I must admit, there are many areas of the physics maze that I am not good at explaining. I know where the regions are, I can walk through them. However, that does not mean I can explain them very well. Believe me, I'm not the smartest physicist, yet somehow I was able to do something the smartest physicist could not do.
By looking at the big picture, I discovered a shortcut that leads to the center of the labyrinth. This shortcut allows us to easily walk to the center of the physics labyrinth where we will come to understand the central questions of physics. In this science film, the most important thing I want to do is to show you that shortcut. Please, I ask you, do not expect too much of me. There is no way I could be your tour guide through the entire maze we call physics. When we reach the center of the labyrinth, I want to show you what has been hiding there. Knowledge that is sort of like a great, big, beautiful, golden sphere. A wonderful idea that I suspect you will remember for the rest of your life. Time is the key that unlocks the labyrinth of physics. If we walk through this maze along the path that I have found, then we can all easily meet in the center of the labyrinth and our ultimate goal, the grand unification of physics. There's something really beautiful that is waiting for us there at the center of the labyrinth. It is new knowledge. And in a way, the secret is very much like this golden sphere. It is very much like what this image depicts. No single idea here is difficult. All the ideas that you need to understand in this film are simple and easy. If there is any complexity, it only lies in the order of understanding. That was my job to figure out. In the end, I hope you will have enjoyed the path of reasoning I have chosen to show you. Viewing the clips for this film in order will help you easily understand the central ideas in physics beautiful ideas that might otherwise seem difficult. Here's another analogy. If, if you've seen it already in person, then you have felt the awe of seeing the Grand Canyon. If you have seen it in person, then you know what I mean. However, a photograph like this simply cannot depict the Grand Canyon. The most beautiful photograph of the Grand Canyon will always fail to convey just how awesome the Grand Canyon is. If you think about the key ideas of physics in the proper order, then you should experience a similar awe. If you simply skip to the center of the physics labyrinth with no understanding, then that'll be like looking at a thumbnail photograph of the Grand Canyon. I would like to lead you to the center of the physics labyrinth. I want to show you what is there. So far, at this time, there have been very few people that have been there. Unfortunately, in other parts of the maze, there is a dead end passage that is clogged with thousands of people. Right now, there's a herd of people that are stuck at a dead end in the physics maze. Keep in mind, these people are some of the smartest people in the world, but make no mistake about it, they are stuck big time. And they've been stuck there for many years, for decades. I have never once tried to battle my way to the head of that pack. There are enough people stuck there. I don't want to be another one of them. One interesting detail is physicists have been stuck in this corridor for so long, all of their original leaders have died. Because these leaders have died, there really is nobody left that can lead everyone out of the dead end. The last clear-cut leader was Einstein, and he was the man that led everyone down the dead end. Our current leaders in physics are the furthest down this dead end path. Our current leaders in physics are the people that are the most stuck. The dense pack of people behind them makes it difficult for these leaders to backtrack through the maze. The original leaders in physics have told their followers what they think. They told their followers why they headed down that path. It has been printed in physics textbooks for almost 100 years. What our current leaders in physics think is constantly being repeated as fact in science films. At least, what they think is not normally repeated as theory in public. For example, these leaders usually talk about relativity like it is a fact, not like it is a theory. Now, Einstein did it right. He called his two most famous theories special and general theory of relativity. Our current physics leaders say things like, the black hole that is at the center of the galaxy is. They don't say things like, our best theory predicts black holes exist at the center of. Yes, there are massive objects at 
the centers of galaxies. But no, it is not proper to say they are black holes. In fact, both Einstein's most famous equation, E equals mc squared, and this new physics implies black hole theory is completely wrong. Past and present physics leaders have convinced thousands of people to follow them down a dead end path. That makes it almost impossible for these leaders to change their mind, to change their direction. It's simply too embarrassing for these very smart people to admit they went down the wrong path. In essence, they are so far down the wrong path. In one key area of physics, an area that deals with time, they would need to backtrack through at least 100 years of physics to get back on the right track. I have an old book. It, is, it has an interesting article in it about stars. It describes how stars get their energy by burning coal. Nowadays, astronomers use this story as a joke. They laugh about how astronomers back then were so wrong about how stars work. The irony is, astronomers have repeated this mistake. If my fusion power plant designs work, then astronomers are still wrong. If my fusion power plant designs work, then there is a much better theory for how stars work. In the future, what will the future astronomers say about astronomers from this point in history? Keep a bit of psychology in mind. When something has become too embarrassing to admit, it has become an emotional issue. It is no longer a matter of logical, cognitive reasoning. Emotions take place in the older, more fundamental parts of the brain. That part of the brain functions first. Logical, cognitive reasoning happens in the newer part of the brain. Thus, logical, cognitive reasoning can be completely blocked by emotions that get in the way. History is filled with crimes of passion. Every day, life gives us hundreds of examples of emotions getting in the way. When people say, don't let emotions get in the way, what do they mean? They mean, don't let your emotions get in the way of your logical cognitive reasoning. Just remember, when it comes to scientists, emotions make scientists do all sorts of illogical things, just like everyone else. I got lucky at the beginning. When I first started learning physics, I spotted a previously undiscovered door at the starting point of the maze, before I even started going through the maze. The door I spotted was called time. When I solved the mystery of time, that was the key that unlocked this undiscovered door. Behind the door was a shortcut that led straight to the center of the physics labyrinth. Because I solved the mystery of time, this allowed me to stroll down this empty corridor that led straight to the center of the physics labyrinth. 